I think Maurice Smith is having problems with his right hand. Phil, right at the end of that 12th round, I seen him like shake his hand and, and, and grit and pain. To work on it in the 12th and final round, Stun Luyer gave it everything he had. Look at Maurice Smith walking over. Says, hey, what a fight, guy, what a fight. And Blakey, I think the Draco world and fight fans all over the country are gonna clamor for a rematch between these two. Well, I don't think anybody would argue that, Phil. Both fighters came out. They dipped and got a chance to know each other in a more intimate way, so to speak. Well, Maurice Smith is a very, very highly regarded fighter. He's fighting Jean-Claude Luyer. Luyer, a very experienced fighter. Maurice Smith really a legend in his own right. I don't think he's gotten the just that he deserves. But right there, you see Maurice Smith. What a tremendous fighter. The early years of the UFC was a sport dominated by grapplers. But that all changed in July of 1997, when a striker from Seattle burst onto the scene. The arrival of kickboxing icon Maurice Smith changed the game from the moment he entered the octagon at UFC 14. 35 years old kickboxing background you're taking on mark coleman who at the time was the, the baddest mixed martial arts on the planet was a massive olympic level wrestler it would be very difficult for anybody even today to want to pick murray smith to win that fight smith astounded the pundits when he proved to be the houdini of the octagon escaping for the master grappler and bringing the foul back to its feet and coleman's level of strategy was one of his biggest contributions to the sport. It shows you the level of athlete Maurice Smith had to be, the kind of condition, and most of all, his strike. The UFC champion! A forgotten champion. A man who ushered in a new way of fighting. A competitor whose techniques still influence the martial artists of today. Maurice Smith is a true pioneer of the UFC. Smith showed astonishing skill and will. The kickboxer from the Pacific Northwest who learned to fight after being inspired by Bruce Lee now takes his rightful place in the UFC Hall of Fame. Maurice Smith, he passes right behind us. So congenial early, posed for every single person who wanted a picture. But I'll tell you, when he gets his game face on, don't get near him. Maurice Smith, the present WKA World Heavyweight Champion, the ISCO World Heavyweight Champion. Look at that record. Tipped the scales yesterday at 218 pounds, 58 wins, 44 by knockout. Don't get in his way. And tonight, his opponent... The former ISKA world champion, he's defended his title so many times, there is Jean-Claude Luyer. Maurice Smith. Overhand right by Luyer. And that's the biggest punch of the fight thus far. That just got Maurice Smith fired up. Whoa, big, big, both fighters letting the right hand go with authority. And this fight is heating up, Phil. Inside the Grand Olympic Auditorium, things have heated up here as we get set for round six. Temperature here in Los Angeles today in the mid-70s here tonight and the low to mid-60s. An absolutely beautiful evening here in Los Angeles. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Maurice Smith almost got messed up here in round five. Jean-Claude uh, Luyer landed an overhand right. You saw Maurice spin off the ropes, and that's when things got a little interesting. Yeah. Round seven. Maurice Smith in the red trunks with gold piping. Jean-Claude Luyer with the purple. Good right, good right left by Luyer. Then he came back to the thigh of Maurice Smith with the right leg. Neither fighter has been in trouble in this fight. That right hand right there got Smith's attention, though. 
right hand by New York. Then when Smith came in, he threw a little right, sharp little right uppercut that also landed off the cheekbone of Smith. Smith trying to take Lumiere down. They both tumble into the ropes. Right uppercut left hook by New York. Then he came back with a right leg, right hand to the body. And you know, New York started to really uh, do some damage this round as we look at the nose of Maurice Smith beginning to bleed as he backs. As now there he's gonna see a takedown for John Claude New York. A two-point takedown for New York. And you know, New York really looking to pressure up the two, Phil. Yes, he is. Blood beginning to trickle out of the nose of Smith. Final seconds of the seventh round. Again, the left hand stunned Smith. Well, I'm here you see Jean Claude New York looking the pressure of the two, applying the pressure. The pressure, no question that he won this round. And here you see. Maurice Smith trying to attempt to take down and New York just turning on him, tossing him to the canvas where he received two points. Well, the last two rounds I have given decisively to uh, Jean-Claude. Well, I don't think uh, Louis has... Uh, has been affected by anything that uh, Smith has thrown thus far, Blinky. No, he hasn't. No matter of fact, I think that New York's landed the better shots tonight as he threw a right hand right there and landed. Starting to take shape towards Jean-Claude New York. He landed the crisper shots, uh, really dictated the, the pace of this fight. Seven to five and eight in favor of Jean-Claude Lier. Judge A. Bellardo scores it six to six. A draw. Judge Dan Stell scores it. Six to six. We have a majority draw. Great fight. Give it up for them, everybody. That is super heavyweight fighting. Have a bit of a shock here. I had it six, four, two. Wow. Two judges had it 6-6. Six, six. It's a majority draw. And as I said in the middle of the 12th round, Blakey, uh, I think a lot of people are going to clamor for a rematch between these two. Now it's just about assured.